Hello friends, this is Summer once again from Sony Tech and welcome to the past 5 of our series. So in this one we'll be doing some CRAD operations. So CRAD which stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete. Alright, so I'd like to see if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, um, please consider subscribing, please like this video, please share and comment as well. Okay, so now let's get our hands dirty. Alright, welcome back. Okay, so I have this simple up here so these are three input fields with four buttons with delete update squeeze and read okay so um on the buttons i've already added the on press but we haven't added the logic kit or i haven't added the logic kit we're doing that together so i have handle delete handle update handle create and handle read so we'll be using the documentation to learn just as i always see the documentation is always always the best way to learn or the best tool to learn or use as a developer when building projects okay so i've added some states to us here as well and check the types and also i've also imported the necessary methods we're using from cloudfire store just to make this video short right so um let's jump to the documentation section so since we are dealing with card we'll be doing the first which is um adding data so adding data to cloudfire store right so um I've already imported this so you can go ahead and do that too as well okay so now let's grab this piece of code here so great and let's start so i want to do const and handle um create because async okay okay so now let's use the try catch block just to okay so let's take a type of the error to so set that to any i'm going to pop this piece of code i copied here right now let's just change this to um okay let me just get rid of it Let me change this to um, employees and let's change this to user ID. Okay, so great. Now let's set this to username. And okay, so I'm going to pause the video and do this real quick. All right, so I've added, um, I've changed it. Okay, so now once we catch the error, we can. Um, um we can log the error to the console mm, what should we pass so we can see error creating document i think this should be fine and um let's add the error all right great i think we are good to go so now let's see this okay okay um let me just comment let me get get rid of these guys uh, all right so great okay so i think um let's just create the functions for each so now let's do um for updates to so const handle uh so card card which is next okay handle read okay so read um you think okay so now let's head back to our documentation and look for getting data so getting data should be here okay so reading data so getting data okay so great um this is the best way to learn because now let's grab this guys uh Okay, so get a document. Okay, um, okay, so let's grab this. So grab this. And don't forget to do the inputs. Okay, so try catch block. So, you know the type, so let's just give this a type of any. Okay. 
and change this to um to e and user id okay so great okay so now let's copy this piece to us so okay Oof. okay so we are saying if um we want a snapshot of the document whatever is inside our document section so if you have it we log it to the console so now once we have that we can set that to okay thank you github copilot so this page you created here so once you have that document you can set whatever inside that document into the set user info um setup function okay so great uh okay so i think this is fine and once you have that so we can um github copilot okay so i'll just do it myself so we can um console log something so we can do error um reading document and we pass the error okay i think everything should be wired up correctly okay now let's do for um crap so what's next ah good okay so this is what github cooper let's give me but then let's cross check so now let's go back to our documentation and go back to so you can search for it here so updates okay so updates choose the first one so updates should be part of the art okay so when update multiple timestamps um write and um, um, read and write data okay so let's use this one okay so update set a document okay okay so update the document Right, um so update the document. So we see we have this one to as well. So um this is essentially setting the field of the city to DC and setting capital to true and we have this one to as well. So you can watch through the documentation to learn more. Okay. Um and this one to just to change some particular fields. All right, great. But this what this is going to do here is that I haven't tested, but it's going to update the document, it's going to create a new one beneath whatever you have All right um let's do for um so card oh okay great <laughs> so this is the power of ai so thank you github copilot okay so now let's cross check this one too from the documentation to and see All right um so delete deleting a document where the okay i don't want to see that yeah uh okay so deleting the document so you import this one and you await delete doc and you pass in doc um together with three parameters uh okay so this is going to delete the whole field or the whole document so capital field from the documents okay so delete a collection that's so easy all right i think um everything is wired up correctly so now let's all fingers cross let's check boom 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 okay let me open my firebase um db alongside all right great so let's pass in john what's wrong with my typing and do john at gmail.com and um let's give john 35 right so quiet so let's start with create so now let's create our let's create john okay what's wrong okay maybe we don't see that happening but um let me make some poop poop okay so create okay let's see Let's refresh. I think we need some alerts so we know what's happening. But I hope John has been created successfully. 
Okay, I think it has been created. And boom. Okay, so here is by the John. Yes, so I think we can refactor this code and add some alerts. So if we have time, we'll do that. Okay, so once we've created John, um, we can now read John. So to read John, um, let's go below here and create a view. Ha! Ah, wow, the power of AI. Okay. 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 So I'm not sure I'm going to need this. And this, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What's wrong? Right. So now let me explain what GitHub Copilot gave me. Okay. So you see up here. Um, best read so when we call so log whatever we have in our doc snapshots dot data so whatever we have in our um whatever snapshots we get snapshot of data we get we then set it to the user info so the in the in the setter function of the user info we pass in doc snapshots dot doc um dot data right um so we can then access user info dot username dot email dot um each because it returns as an object which has the username field or parameter the email on the age and we use optional chain and so our code doesn't break due to maybe um bad network or you're not able to target a particular um item in the object okay so great so now let's save this and so now let's try and um read some data Oof. All right, so you see in our console log, so we have this um, data object. So now we have John and his um, email and his age. All right, so what's the, the next item in our card operation? So create, read, update. Okay, so now let's try and update John. So um, let's add another name to John. So let's call him John Do. And John wants to change his age. So now, right now John is 36 right um so updates let me bring this guy down now let's update john okay so i think if i beat that john okay so you see there was this yellow thing and john has changed here all right so that's great we're having fun right and the last thing is the delete operation so now let's try and delete john okay so boom so john is gone and there's nothing here all right, so guys, um, you can add some alerts to this. You can refactor this code. I'll leave the link to this code in the description below. So essentially, you've come to the end of this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed this. So thanks so much for watching this one. Um, don't forget to give this video a like. Please share. Please comment so I know your thoughts. Bye.